Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today, we are going to give a shot here at actually making calcium carbide. Now, I've used calcium carbide in several previous videos for carbide lamps, but I kind of wanted to give it a shot making it ourselves here. Now, you can buy it commercially made and it's it's much, much cheaper than this. So, <laughs> in the words of Nerd Rage, we're exploring the science. This is totally non-economical and it it doesn't make sense to do it this way, but I just want to see if I can do it. So what I have is some calcium. This is in a argon vial here. Just got this on eBay. I'm actually going to be distilling some cesium and figured this would be a good reducer for the cesium chloride. And got some willow charcoal that we made in a previous video. That's going to be our carbon source. So we're going to slap them in here, react them together under some major heat, and hopefully get calcium carbide. In the future, I actually want to try kind of walking in the steps of Thomas Wilson there got an old microwave that I'm going to be rewiring the transformer in or uh, re rewinding I don't know but basically put a new secondary on that microwave oven transformer I think King of Random did a video on that but I'll be using it as an arc furnace that where I can hopefully reduce quick lime with carbon and make calcium carbide through the electric arc process but for now this is what I got this is what we're going to try so I'm just going to score this vial here so we hopefully get a nice clean break with a diamond file here. Oh shit, the top already broke. <laughs> How the hell did that even happen? I have no idea. Alright, whatever. I'll try to pour it all in here now, I guess. See if I can get it to break nicely. Yeah, well that works. All right, so my calcium metal is transferred in a nice airtight sealed vial here. That'll keep it for good storage. Get rid of all this glass. So I'm just going to put a few little grains of calcium in here. And then get some charcoal. I'm trying to go for the fine powder stuff, so got to get a spoon. Really need this a little better powdered, but it's as good as I got. So now we're just going to heat the living hell out of it <laughs> and hope we get calcium carbide. Let's see if it works. Hopefully this don't blow up in my face. Oh, I saw a reaction. I think we got it. Hopefully that extra layer of carbon will keep the carbide from being exposed to too much atmosphere. But I think it freaking worked. That was way too easy. <laughs> Holy shit. Nothing's ever that easy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Looks like the carbide's kind of stuck down there. There we go. I think that's it. I think we got some calcium carbide. Let's give it a test here. Oh, I need some soap. Got a little soap solution there. Drop that piece in. See if that is acetylene or hydrogen. That looks like acetylene flame. I'm not seeing a lot of soot. Smells like acetylene. Holy shit. That's amazing. Actually freaking worked. Oh yeah, there's the sooty flame. <laughs> that is awesome. Well, the first time was too easy, so I'm going to give that another shot. Make a second little batch here. It'd probably be better to do this with some actual calcium turnings rather than solid chunks, just seeing as, you know, more surface area, better reactivity. There we go. We got a reaction. Whoa. Nice. 
Not sure why it popped like that this time. So this is what just came out of the test tube. I think it's one big chunk of calcium carbide. Pretty freaking cool. That might be enough to get a lamp going for about 10 seconds. Let's see if this little guy reacts. Oh yeah. That's, <laughs> that's definitely acetylene. We made one big ass chunk of calcium carbide. Holy shit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was uh, definitely a shorter video than my usual, but you know, <laughs> just a fun little experiment in the lab here. If you like what you see on the channel, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and make sure you hit the little dingleberry next to the subscribe button so you can actually get notified because YouTube's a huge pain in the ass that way. And if you like what you see on the channel enough, you want to support it, I do have a Patreon page set up. I'll put a link in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.